Welcome, everybody. And today we're talking about a few cigars that were released earlier this year. Now, there have been some popular borderline hyped releases in 2021 so far. Now, I'll tell you here early in the video that for me and my flavor profile, the one that pulled away from the pack the most was the CAO Mortal Coil. But all of these cigars had something that stood out and something that I appreciated. So we're gonna jump right in. For the first three, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I thought stood out about them, what made them special. And then for the Mortal Coil, we'll go into a little bit more of a detailed review. All right, so kicking it off with the Rare Leaf Reserve. For me, the flavor notes that stood out were the earthy raisin, the wood, and the coffee. I thought that this had a great caramel long finish throughout. It had a little bit of a snug draw in my opinion and a spicy note on the back of the throat that came and went as the smoke progressed. All right, and keeping it in the Aganorsa family, we had the Supreme Leaf that came out in a new size. And what stood out the most to me about this smoke was the, the powdered sugar and the toasted caramel notes. It had some really great cream and baker spice with leather that kind of rounded out that profile very nicely. All right, and moving on to the Zocalo. Quick note on the Zocalo is that it is a re-release, so maybe I'm cheating a little bit on the 2021 release of it, but I wanted to talk about it in this video, and it did come out again this year in 2021, so there we go. The Zocalo for me was a nice flavor profile. It was a good smoke. I wouldn't mind having this anytime. And the flavor notes that stood out were cinnamon, chocolate, leather, and wood. And now moving on to the Mortal Coil. The Mortal Coil has a U.S. Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. It's got a U.S. Connecticut Shade binder, Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan fillers finish out this blend. It's got a beautiful dark wrapper on there. And on the nose, I get some earthy, some nice earthy raisin, almost fig on there, some cocoa as well. The, the cigar itself looks great. It borderline demands respect. Look at this thing. It's got that cool, the, the gold with the black looks really good. This is actually one long, you can see here in my book, it's one long band that literally coils around the cigar for a little bit of meta in there for you. The one that I have here is six and one eighths by 50, which I thought was a great size for this cigar. It worked really well for me, lasted a decent amount of time. As you can see, it's got a tight and also even bunch on there. There are some slight soft spots every now and then on here. It is a bumpy wrapper. It's got nice blotches of color in there that, that give it some character. It's toothy. It looks like it's going to be a good smoke. And for me, it was a good smoke. As far as the flavor notes that I got on this cigar, in the first third, I got a raisin fig that really matched up really well with what I smelled off of the wrapper in the foot. It had wood, leather, white pepper, and vanilla. And then I got a vanilla and black pepper on the retro. In the second third, I got raisin, wood, leather, earth, like an earth from like a Merlot. It was that, that fine dirt kind of earth that I got on there. White pepper and coffee. I got a floral note and black pepper on the retro hill. And in the final third, I got vanilla, wood, coffee, leather, cocoa, and that earthy raisin came back as well. There was a black pepper retro hill in that final third that to me started leaning toward like a sharp black pepper. From the beginning, I knew this was gonna be a good smoke. I thought it was a good size. I thought that the band looked good on there. The wrapper looked good. It was toothy. And then when I smelled the wrapper, I got that fig that I've never really gotten before on a wrapper. On the foot, I got an even stronger fig and raisin. I just knew from the start that it was gonna be a good cigar and it did not let me down. The Mortal Coil out of this entire set is the one that for me is box worthy. So that is it out of this set, but I do wanna give an honorable mention to the Alec and Bradley Kintsugi 
It came out last year, and this cigar for me was an absolute hit. It was a great medium body with a full flavor profile. It had outstanding construction and a sharp burn line throughout. So, honorable mention goes to the Kintsugi from Alec and Bradley, but it came out in 2020, so I didn't want to make it part of the bulk of the video, but it does warrant a at least an honorable mention. I think this is kind of what makes this hobby fun for me. New releases, trying old favorites, the rare cigars, having favorite blends and favorite brands that when you go to the local brick and mortar, you know what you want to pick out. It's about growing your knowledge base on these cigars and the tobacco and the process that goes into making something that comes out like this, which is actually a pretty phenomenal process. For me, the process of finding new cigars, the process of trying some of those older cigars that are tried and true, that is all about having fun in this hobby. So I don't know that I wanna have a top five or a top 10. I wanna have a top five today that grows and becomes something different and evolves tomorrow. The excitement of these releases, the excitement of trying something new, that can help with that evolution of my top 10 or top five, because I always want to keep learning and there's a lot there to learn. People have dedicated a lot of time to becoming very good at what they do with regards to cigars. I respect that and I want to learn more about it. So that's it for me. That's all I have to say today. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the views and have a good one.